Hello and welcome everyone. In this tutorial video, I'm going to talk to you about an important plane, which is the uh, transpyloric uh, plane. Now, what's the transpyloric plane? It's an imaginary uh, plane. You would draw it um, at this level, as you see here, at the level of L1, lumbar vertebra number 1. This is the shadow of the L1 vertebra so this plane is the uh, transpyloric plane why it's called transpyloric plane you know what because you know the stomach you know the large the last part is the pylorus and this plane is located at the level of the pylorus of course when the patient or the person in the supine position and the stomach is empty otherwise you know if the stomach is uh, full and you are standing so the pylorus will move a little bit down because of the uh, gravity however you know this plane is important we consider it uh, uh, a useful landmark why because it transects um, many important structures structures like what okay before start talk about the structures how can we draw it okay there are two ways to draw this plane it's direct and easy first of all this is the jugular notch you can feel it of course and this is the symphysis pupus also you can feel it so the distance or the midway between these two points the I mean jugular notch and symphysis pupus is the transpyloric plane look go all the way this is okay first one and from the symphysis pupus up to this one so the midway between these two points is the transpyloric plane but you know somebody can say well it's too long okay there is another way I will show you you know this is the xiphoid process of the uh, sternum okay and this is the umbilicus so also the midway between the xiphoid process also you can feel it and from the umbilicus up so the midway between these two points also is the transpyloric plane so it's up to you now let us talk about the um, structures that's located at this plane why we like uh, this uh, plane we have to know where is it okay first of all the fundus the uh, uh, the fundus of gall bladder you know it should be like here the fundus of gall bladder there is a way to um, identify the surface, you know, to know the surface anatomy of the fundus of the gallbladder. Okay, first of all, this is the clavicle. This is the clavicle bone, right? So, draw a midclavicular line all the way down. So, it should be, okay, it should be like, like this okay so this is the location of the uh, fundus of the gallbladder the transection between uh, the transpyloric plane and the mid right all right the right mediclavicular line so this point is the fundus of gallbladder okay what else look at here there is the duodenum you know the you know are four parts the first part second part third part and the last part of course this part the last part where is the duodenum uh, uh, continues as a jejunum right is the jejunum and so forth so why transpyloric plane is important because other than the fundus of gallbladder the there is a first part of the duodenum and the upper of last part or you can say the duodeno jejunal junction the junction of duodenum with the jejunum 
it is close to it, right? This is two point. Of course, when you talk about the duodenum, you will remember, of course, the uh, neck of the pancreas. This is the neck of the pancreas. So, also, it's located at the level of transpyloric plane. Okay, gallbladder, first part of duodenum, duodenal uh, junction, and neck of uh, pank the neck of pancreas. But when we remember the neck of pancreas, we will remember this diagram. Look, this is the pancreas. This is the head and neck and the body and tail of the pancreas. Look, behind the neck of the pancreas, there is important two veins. The splenic, this is the spleen, right? So this is the splenic vein that unites with the superior mesenteric vein here behind the neck of the pancreas. Look, this is the pancreas and this is the neck of the pancreas. So behind the, at the transpyloric plane, a level of L1. So the splenic vein unites uh, unites with superior mesenteric vein to form the hepatic portal vein, which is very important. That drains the blood from most parts of the GI uh, system, gastrointestinal system. Okay, so this is. Uh, also, a structure. Okay, here is the transpyloric plane again, and this is the fundus of the gallbladder, which is close to the uh, costal cartilage number nine, transected with the uh, midclavicular line. So, as uh, um, a transection between the transpyloric plane and the midclavicular line is close to the fundus, the uh, fundus of gallbladder. Okay. Back again, what else we have? Okay, we uh, talked about the fundus called bladder, beginning at the of genome, and neck of pancreas, and we remember the uh, uh, hepatic portal vein, and also, if you look here, you will see this is the superior mesenteric artery. So here is the origin of superior mesenteric an arch which is at the level of L1 again transpyloric um, plane and if you look laterally and posteriorly here is the shadow of the kidneys right kidney and this is the shadow of the uh, left kidney so this is the hilum of each kidney which is located at the level of L1 or the at the level of transpyloric plane so hyla of kidneys and if you look Back here, you would see that the, um, let me erase this, okay, here's the uh, right colic flexure, and here's the left colic flexure, so, or you can see hepatic uh, flexure and splenic flexure, it's up to you, so they are liquidly close to transpyloric um, plane. Okay, also, if you look here, there is a kind of peritoneum. You see this a layer of peritoneum? No. Is. So, this is the, uh, uh, you know, it's cut. So, this is a transverse colon should attach to here. And this is the attachment of transverse mesocolon, right? So, also, again... It's close to the level of transpyloric plane. Thank you for watching and uh, hope you will find uh, value in it. Thank you.